Hey, how's it going? It is currently 4.05 in the morning. Just woke up. And I'm uh, gonna hop in the shower and I got some luggage over here. I gotta throw in the car. It's raining right now, so that's gonna suck. Gonna have to put that in the car. Um, yeah. Gotta get ready, take a shower, eat, do gas, and then head on over to Tampa Bay Comic Con. Going on, what time did I go to sleep? Like 11 or 12, so. Not too much sleep. I'm not feeling too good. Got a little headache, but, uh. Gonna pop some aspirin in and, uh. Get on the road. Talk to you soon. Hey guys! Alright, so it's. It's 5.02 a.m. right now. Leaving a little bit later than I would like to, but. No biggie. As you can see, it's raining. Packing the back of my car right now and about ready to get out of here and get some gas and be on the road. So, probably hit you guys up again while I'm driving. But that's it for now. Talk to you later. All right, just checking in with you guys. It's 5:48 right now. Um, man, it's, it's gonna be a long ride. I've never, I'm not used to driving this far or this long in the car. I usually just like stay local. I don't go that far. Uh, it's getting boring. I'm listening to the audiobook right now. The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F by Mark Hansen. It's a big book in the self development world. So, a friend recommended it to me, so I'm listening to that. But, man, I can't believe I gotta do three and a half hours of driving. I really hate driving. I hate sitting here. I already want to stand up. My foot's getting tired. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Whatever. I'm getting my grub on right now. Got the drinks in there, got a sandwich here. Don't know if I'm showing it. Uh, not really, I can't look at the camera right now, but. Yeah, so three more hours to go in the car. All right, so one more hour to go. I'm making good time. Google Maps said oh, it was gonna take three and a half hours, I think. Uh, right now, I'm gonna shave like 20 minutes off. Going like around 100 most of the way, so making good time. But man, this is this is tough, dude. I'm bored out my mind. This feels like I'm on a stranded island. Like there's no one in the car alone. Even though there's people in cars around me, but I'm not talking to them. There's a speed trap ahead. at the con here it is I think like 9 30 so con starts at 12 pretty empty a lot of vendors aren't here yet um, this place has been a real headache so far all right so Tampa Bay Comic Con convention it's supposed to be a big con one of the bigger ones in Florida and uh, got no email my other uh, audit artist friend who's a vendor here as well he didn't get an email either so it makes me assume a lot of people didn't get emails about uh, set up time when to come, when to park, uh, loading docks, just maps of anything. Usually these places will send you several emails leading up to the event about what to do. And uh, this place didn't. So I am figuring out as I go. Uh, and I know what I'm doing now and it's ridiculous, like the amount I need to walk. It's... Uh, I forgot I was supposed to be vlogging and everything. Uh, so here's the setup. It took me a while to do. This is my biggest setup so far. Uh, height and width. I stuffed so much on here. If you blow on this thing too hard, it's gonna fall over. This is very scary. Hey guys, so it's 1.22. That's an hour 22 minutes into the con. It's been pretty slow. I mean, it's starting to build up. It's, it's only Friday, so it's gonna be crazier Saturday and Sunday. But still at work, so. But um, yeah, it's going well so far. I sold one thing. 
for uh, hopefully it picks up. So I did this for the first time. I brought a printer. This way I can print on demand. I just stuck my SD card in there. And there, there's all the files. So if I run out of something, I can just print it. It's all powered by this thing. This little box here, pretty awesome. Someone at Supercon, which was last month, told me about this. And I bought it and it's been going well so far. It's also powering my colorful lights, which I'm doing for the first time as well since I have power. It's actually a cool setup, getting a lot of eyes because of the lights. It's drawing people's attention. And I did this, this is the first time I'm doing this, these big signs with just like the big numbers. It kind of looks like the dollar store. So people like cheap things because times are tough out there. But uh, yeah. So I have this out there, and, and but I sold a Jerry, so I can, I'm still selling the frame stuff, even though I have the cheaper stuff here. So that's good. All right. So my plan is completely backfiring with making prints at a con. For whatever reason, they are printing like this, and I have no idea why. That's horrible. That sucks. Um, I'm very unfortunate because I need these prints right now. But in, in positive news, I am selling a good amount. Let's see. I sold I sold large these larger frame prints. I sold a Wolverine, um, a Wonder Woman, a Tom and Jerry one, and then I sold some smaller ones, and then um, a bunch of these, six of these. So it's going well so far. I wanted to print. I had another Hellboy here. Not working, but going really well so far. So this has been easily the best start to a con I've ever experienced. Uh, I've been selling a lot of stuff. I've already paid for my air, my three-day Airbnb, which was like ninety-something dollars, and then I didn't calculate everything. Um, I made over a hundred, maybe like one twenty, one thirty. So paid for some gas there too. So usually don't have this good of a start to a con. So. I'm liking Tampa Bay. Thank you, Tampa. So and it's just Friday. We still got Saturday and Sunday. So let's see how the rest goes. So it seems this printer is being hit or miss. These came out looking good. But all the other ones are being cut off. And I don't know why. Wasting photo paper. Alright, so there's about an hour left of the con here on the first day. It closes at 7. And I tallied up everything I sold, and I made $181, which is great for a day that's supposed to be slow. I mean, great for me. It's, it's definitely my best opening day to date. So hopefully that continues tomorrow, Saturday, when it should be really busy. Hey guys, so leaving the parking garage right now. Um, that went that went well, man. It went really well. Um, Gonna find some food right now and then head to my Airbnb. It's my first time using Airbnb, so kind of excited about that. They were messaging me, like telling me everything was ready, so it made me feel nice. So I made 180 bucks, which is from, it might be my best day or close to it that I made in, in one day at one of these events. And for that to happen on a Friday, which is supposed to be the slow day of this con, it's pretty awesome. Um, Sunday's supposed to be slow too, but. I mean, fingers crossed it's busier than today. Saturday should definitely be the best day. And, uh, yeah. Got to my Airbnb, and I am liking what I'm looking at. Just met the lady, and uh, she showed me around. Beautiful, beautiful, check this out. So that's the front door, you walk in. Everything looks brand new. Nice mirror, marble floor. Look at this bed, oh my god. Little table there, TV. Bathroom here. I would get rid of this thing here. I don't know why that's there. That looks, that's unnecessary. And uh, what's in here? Oh, that's funny. So you got the toilet here and then the sink, sink and shower in here. Oh my God, what the, I don't even know. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Very nice. So, wow, this place is legit, legit. It's nice clock, so they have a little coffee maker here. I don't drink coffee or not. Like they're stocked up. And then 
fridge, microwave. I wish they had a toaster oven. That's the only thing they're missing is a toaster oven. That'd be amazing. All right, so the Airbnb is cool. Uh, dumped everything off and I'm hungry. So I hopped on my Happy Cow app, which is an app to find vegan or vegetarian places near you. And found this cool place. They sell alcohol and they have like a little vegan restaurant back there. I'm um, getting some fried chicken, some southern fried chicken not done, and then uh, chicken sandwich, not fried chicken, and then fr loaded fries made for me, so that should be good. By the way, it's really hard to talk in front of a phone when there's people around you. It's pretty embarrassing. But, uh, I guess I gotta get used to it. Alright, so these are the loaded fries here. What's this place called? Three Dot Dash. Interesting name. Let's check this one out. That looks crispy and good. Oh man. Alright guys, in bed now. Just to update you before I hit the hay, I uh, went to a vegan, vegan restaurant, food was good, ate, then I stopped by Fresco, got some groceries, so I packed up this mini fridge over here, and uh, just some snacks and food for breakfast, and uh, I got like peanut butter and jelly so I can make sandwiches at the con, or, or make them here and bring the sandwiches to the con, just stuff to get me by. And uh, yeah, everything's, uh, I got clothes thrown everywhere. I'll, I'll get that later. But, um, <laughs> anyways, rambling here. Whatever. I'm gonna go to bed now. And I'll catch you guys in the AM tomorrow for Tampa Bay Comic Con Day 2. I'm gonna get better at these, I promise. I'm just really awkward. In front of the camera, at the moment, these will get better. Mm, just watch. <laughs>